Section 4 of AS 3008 lists a number of methods relating to voltage drop. We will be concentrating on a millivolt per ampere meter method. We will be focusing on tables 40 to 51 in AS 3008. I previously suggested you highlight those tables in Appendix B. AS3000 states voltage drop shall be such that it does not exceed 5% between the point of supply and any other point within the electrical installation. In a single phase installation such as this, that value is no greater than 11.5 volts. This exercise is to select the appropriate cable size of a circuit when you are aware of the maximum permissible voltage drop. This single phase installation has an established voltage drop of 6.9 volts across the consumer's mains. This means the maximal permissible voltage drop across the final sub-circuit is 4.6 volts. The voltage drop equations are listed in section 4 of AS3008. As we are searching for the value of VC, we'll use VC equals VD multiplied by 1000 all divided by length multiplied by current. However, be aware there is a note that relates to single phase situations. The cable for the final sub circuit is a two core on earth with V90 insulation with a circuit length of 30 meters and a maximum demand of 32 amperes. Populating our equation as such, we can calculate the value of VC to be 4.79 millivolts per ampere meter. Because this is a single phase arrangement, we need to convert the values for the tables. The process to convert a three phase voltage drop to single phase is to multiply it by 1.155. We already have our value of single phase voltage drop, so we need to convert it to three phase by dividing it by 1.155. We need to do the opposite. Dividing a number by 1.155 is the same as multiplying it by 0.866. is also mentioned in the equations in section 4 of AS3008. This means that our selected cable can have a voltage drop of no more than 4.15 millivolts for every ampere flowing through it for every metre of its length. Voltage drop values for multi-core copper cables, regardless of installation method, are in table 42. Column 6 is for 75 degrees. 4.15 millivolts per ampere meter falls between 6.49 and 3.86. This means that 6 millimeters square has too large a value of voltage drop, so we will need to move down the list to 10 millimeters square. Larger cables have lower voltage drop values. A 630mm square cable would be brilliant to minimise voltage drop, but you cannot fit them in the light switch terminals. Using a 10mm square cable on a 32 amp circuit may sound excessive from a current carrying capacity perspective at first glance. Delivering 32 amps a distance of 30 metres is a substantial undertaking. This is why voltage drop considerations are complementary to current carrying capacity considerations. A more fluid method to determine the value of VC in a single phase arrangement is to incorporate the conversion in the actual equation like such. For data entry of this equation into the calculator, the following could be a suggested arrangement.